Ever wondered why some people never seem to escape the middle class, even with a good income? Today, we dive into the world of money habits, exploring the financial pitfalls that could be anchoring you to the middle class. We'll underscore the significance of financial literacy and discipline in achieving wealth. But before we continue, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to receive more valuable insights on achieving financial freedom and prosperity. So, buckle up and stay tuned to discover the 9 dangerous middle-class money habits that could be keeping you broke. The first money habit that's keeping you broke. Living paycheck to paycheck. This habit is like walking on a financial tightrope. With no financial buffer, you're always one unexpected expense away from a financial crisis. It's a high-risk game where you're betting against life's unpredictability. Now, let's imagine a different scenario. What if you had a safety net, a financial cushion that could absorb the shock of unexpected costs like car repairs or medical bills? Sounds less stressful, right? That's the power of having savings. So how do you break free from living paycheck to paycheck? The answer is simple. Save. Make it a habit to set aside a portion of your income every month. Treat it as a non-negotiable expense. It doesn't have to be a large amount. Even a small savings can grow over time and provide the financial security you need. Remember, a small savings today can save you from a big financial crisis tomorrow. The second habit that's harming your financial health, dependence on debt. It's like a crutch that's keeping you upright but it's not helping you move forward. When you rely on continuous borrowing it becomes a cycle that's hard to break. Each loan might seem like a temporary fix but in reality, it's just adding to a mountain of debt that's casting a long shadow over your financial future. Instead, think of debt as a last resort, not your go-to solution. Try to prioritize debt repayment and avoid unnecessary loans. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating debt, but managing it wisely. Prioritize paying off high-interest debts and consider consolidating your loans to make the repayment process simpler and more manageable. So, how about we start changing the narrative? Let's turn the story of debt dependence into one of financial independence. Debt is like quicksand. The more you struggle without a proper plan, the deeper you sink. The third habit that's emptying your pockets, not having a budget plan. Consider budgeting the roadmap to your financial success. Without it, you're driving blind, and that's a risky endeavor. Not having a budget can lead to overspending, accumulating debt, and a lack of savings. And we all know that TRIO spells trouble. Creating a budget, however, allows you to see where your money is going. It helps you to identify and cut out unnecessary expenses. It's like shedding light on those hidden money leaks that are quietly draining your wallet. Once you have a budget, it's crucial to stick to it. It's not a restrictive tool, but a liberating one. It gives you control over your money and allows you to plan for the future, whether that's a vacation, a new car, or your retirement. A budget is not about restricting your spending but about planning your financial freedom. The fourth habit that's keeping you broke. Prioritizing liabilities over assets. Now what's the difference between liabilities and assets? In the simplest terms, assets are things that put money in your pocket, like investments or property you rent out. Liabilities on the other hand are things that take money out of your pocket like car payments, credit card debts, or a fancy new gadget that depreciates the minute you buy it. Here's a common trap, you might think your shiny new car is an asset, but unless it's making you money, it's a liability. It depreciates, incurs maintenance costs and doesn't generate income. So, what's the solution? Prioritize investing in assets over acquiring liabilities. Buy that rental property instead of the latest smartphone. Invest in stocks or start a side business. These are assets, things that will generate income over time. Remember, assets put money in your pocket, while liabilities take money out of it. The fifth habit that's draining your wealth, over-reliance on credit cards. It's easy to fall into the trap of using plastic money for everything from groceries to vacations. The problem arises when you start treating credit as an extension of your income, rather than as a tool for convenience. This habit can lead to a mounting pile of debt that feels impossible to pay off. Then the interest starts compounding, and you find yourself in a financial hole that's getting deeper and deeper. So, what's the solution? Use credit cards wisely. They can actually be great tools for building credit history, earning rewards, and even for emergency situations. But remember, these benefits only apply when you pay off your balance in full every month. If you're currently in debt, make a plan. Prioritize paying off your high-interest debts first, and moving forward, try to live within your means. 
Credit cards can be a boon or a bane, depending on how you use them. The sixth habit that's eating up your savings, overspending on housing. Now we all want a comfortable place to live, don't we? But when a large chunk of your income is consumed by your housing expenses, you're left with little to save or invest. Here's a rule of thumb. Try not to spend more than one third of your income on housing. This includes mortgage or rent, utilities, and maintenance. If you're spending more, it might be time to consider more affordable options. Downsizing, relocating, or opting for a home that needs a bit of love and care can make a substantial difference in your financial health. It's important to remember that living within your means doesn't mean compromising on your lifestyle. It's about making smart choices today for a financially secure tomorrow. Let's not confuse the home we live in with wealth. It's a common mistake to perceive our homes as investments. But unless it's generating income, it's a liability. Your house is your home, not your wealth. The seventh habit that's limiting your financial growth. Avoiding financial education. Now financial education is not just about knowing how to balance a checkbook. It is about understanding how money works, how it grows, and how you can make it work for you. Without this knowledge, you're like a ship in the night, navigating the vast ocean of finance without a compass. When you avoid financial education, you expose yourself to risks, the risk of debt, the risk of bad investments, the risk of not saving enough for retirement. And these are risks you can't afford to take. So what's the solution? Take the time to learn about personal finance and investment, read books, take online courses, listen to podcasts. There's a wealth of information out there waiting for you to tap into it. Remember, your financial future is in your hands. And the more you know, the better decisions you can make. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to money. The eighth habit that's holding you back, fear of investing. You've probably heard the old adage, it takes money to make money and it's true. But it's not about throwing your money into the wind and hoping for the best. It's about calculated risks and informed decisions. By not investing, you're essentially leaving money on the table. Inflation alone can chip away at your savings, making them worth less over time. But here's the good news. Investing doesn't have to be scary. You don't need to start big. Even a small amount can grow significantly over time if invested wisely. And the key to wise investing? Education. Learn about the market, understand the risks, and make informed decisions. There are plenty of resources available to help you get started, from books to online courses and even financial advisors. Investing is not about getting rich quick. It's about growing your wealth steadily over time. The ninth and final habit that's keeping you from financial freedom, ignoring passive income opportunities. Often we get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of our daily grind that we fail to see the forest for the trees. We overlook the potential gold mine that is passive income. Passive income is money earned with minimal activity through a variety of ventures which require little daily effort or upkeep. It could be from rental income, business partnerships, or even online endeavors. It's income that keeps rolling in, even when you're not actively working. Now, why is ignoring passive income opportunities a dangerous habit? Because it's like leaving money on the table. It's like having a well in your backyard and choosing to walk miles for water. It's foregoing the opportunity to make your money work for you, instead of you working for your money. You're working hard but you're stuck in one place, financially. But the beauty of passive income is that it allows you to earn while you sleep. It creates a safety net of wealth that grows without your active involvement. It's the key to achieving financial freedom because it decouples your income from your time. And when your income is not tied to the hours you work, you have the freedom to do what you want with your time. So how can you break this habit? Start by exploring different passive income sources. It could be investing in the stock market, real estate, or starting an online business. Educate yourself about these opportunities and take calculated risks. Remember the goal is not to replace your active income, but to supplement it. Passive income is not a luxury. It's a necessity for financial independence. It's about making your money work for you so you can enjoy the fruits of financial freedom. So stop ignoring passive income opportunities. It's time to step off the treadmill and start running towards your financial goals.